Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another State of Jailbreak video. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming iOS 4.1 update. Uh, now I definitely like to keep you guys up to date with this kind of stuff, and this is definitely an update that you should avoid. Um, so I'm sure as most of you guys know by now, there already is a 4.1 jailbreak for most devices called Lime Rain. I've already done a tutorial on it. You can go ahead and check my channel if you want the details. However, before you go ahead and do that or whatever, um, definitely do keep in mind that Apple is about to patch it uh, using 4.1.1. Uh, now what I mean by patch it is, it's kind of a little bit complicated as Lime Rain is a very unique jailbreak. Uh, now, the jailbreak itself is not patchable. The only way to patch it is, you know, if Apple decides to uh, start putting out new hardware. So if you already have an iPhone or an iPod Touch or an iPad today, then it's not going to be patched, so you don't have to worry. However, what you do have to worry about is the tethered status of the jailbreak. Currently, the Lime Rain, it uses a secondary exploit found by Comex, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Comex is, um, that makes it untethered. However, Apple can easily patch that and make Lime Rain, and indeed Green Poison as well, tethered. Um, this is definitely not something you're, you, should, you, know, you should be looking for as a tethered jailbreak means that you need to plug it into the computer and rerun the jailbreak program every time that you need to go ahead and boot your device. Um, while it's not a huge deal, it's definitely very annoying, and there's really no reason to deal with it if you don't have to. Um, so that's why I highly recommend to stay on 4.1, ignore the iTunes update, which will come up here in a few days, telling you to update. Just you know, just don't do it. You're going to be just fine as is. Um, now it should have a couple of bug fixes. Um, I, one thing I've heard of is that it should fix that alarm clock bug um, that was causing problems with daylight savings time. However, I don't think that's really worth it to fix it. Um, compared to going ahead and losing your tethered or your untethered jailbreak, rather. Um, so, guys, what I highly, highly recommend, and you have to do this immediately because as soon as 4.1.1 comes out, you will lose the opportunity. Uh, go ahead; I'll have an annotation on the screen right now. Check it out. It is a video showing you how to back up your SHSH blobs using Tiny Umbrella. Uh, now, basically, what this program will allow you to do is always save your uh, opportunity to downgrade to 4.1. Um, so you know you don't if you accidentally upgrade or you need to restore or whatever you will be able to do it no problem. Uh, now guys, this is very important as if you don't, then you will be stuck on whatever new firmware, and that's definitely not a good thing. So guys, go ahead and check out the tutorial. Um, it was made for an early version of the firmware. However, all the basics do apply, so no worries. Just go ahead. Um, ask uh, Apple for your SHSH blob, it'll save it and you'll be all good. So anyway guys, that's it. Just wanted to keep you guys up to date and informed about the upcoming uh, update. Uh, you know, just It's not a huge deal, I mean, if you do accidentally update or whatever, um, you still can do it as a tethered jailbreak. However, there's no real reason to when you can still enjoy a nice untethered jailbreak. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.